At least six people were killed in a mass shooting last night inside a Walmart in Chesapeake, Virginia. The shooter is also dead. Investigators believe the shooter was an employee or former employee of the store and started shooting other employees in a break room. It's believed the shooter killed himself. Parts of Indonesia still dealing with dozens of aftershocks as the search for earthquake survivors reaches its third day. Over 200 people are dead, including many children. Still, over 100 people are still missing and more than 1,000 are injured. An investigation into the deadly bridge collapse in India has revealed that about 200 people were on the bridge when it collapsed, far higher than the capacity that was allowed. The investigation also revealed that parts of the bridge's anchor and cables were rusted and that some of the bolts connecting the cables were thought to be loose. If you have federal student loans, you will not have to resume payments on January 1st. President Biden is extending the pause on federal student loan payments while challenges to his broader relief plan move through the courts. The pause will last until the Supreme Court makes a decision on the case or until June 30th, whichever comes first. New boosters add limited protection against COVID-19. That's according to a first of its kind real world study. While the updated boosters do offer some protection, it's not as much as the original vaccine provides. Only 11% of eligible Americans have gotten the bivalent booster since they became available in September. More signs the housing market is cooling off. Investors are slowing down their purchases of homes. Real estate company Redfin says they're off 30% in the last quarter. The growth in rents is also slowing, but still up 10% in September compared to a year ago according to CoreLogic. Now that's down from nearly 14% jump in April. Another technology company is looking at layoffs. Computer and printer maker HP now says it will cut nearly 10% of its workforce. The company is pointing to a sharp slump in demand for computers, which is expected to extend into next year. Russia may not make as much from sales of its oil anytime soon. The U.S. is leading a push by Western countries to cap the price of Russian oil. The Wall Street Journal says a decision is expected today. It could limit the price at $60 to $70 a barrel. The G7, as well as Australia, is expected to start enforcing the limit in the next couple of weeks. Today is expected to be another busy travel day as many make their way to their Thanksgiving destinations. Nearly 55 million Americans are expected to travel at least 50 miles or more from home and airports will be packed. Experts suggest getting to the airport extra early and be prepared. Another tip to save time, don't check a bag. And that's today's Nine at Nine. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.